All right, guys, it's day one of practice here for the Tennessee team trail. Cherokee wasn't so hot for us last week with the club, so we're looking for a lot better. We've had basically every day this week's been in the 60s or 70s. So fishing down here has been getting really good on the chick. Um, we're really looking forward to this. Hopefully we got some, some big fish and uh, some awesome catches for you all. But we'll break down practice each night and we'll break down the tournament day. Uh, so let's get out here and get after them. They come up checking that hand. All right guys, sun's coming up on day two. Uh, didn't get a lot of fish catches on video yesterday. We had rain rolling in and best five yesterday. It was actually a decent day. Went about 12 pounds. Uh, got onto something with a jerk bait later on in the day. Did catch a couple on a lipless crankbait. A few on a spinner bait that were good quality, but everything seemed to be around wood. Kind of midways back on little staging areas. I feel like if we can put four two two and a half to three pound fish in the boat and then find us a five or a six that's we'll have a good day the day's supposed to be a lot drier so we should be able to keep the cameras rolling all day long All right, real quick mid-morning update. Well, Dad's out in the woods becoming one with nature. Today's a lot different. It's uh, bluebird skies, as you can see. Not a lot of wind, very little ripple on the water. So we're on the lower end of the lake. It's a lot cooler, it's a little bit dirtier. The biggest thing is I just think there's gonna be a lot of boat traffic down here. So I don't think, uh, right, right now it's not worth the run, worth the risk to run all the way down here. Um, there's boats everywhere sitting on everything. Actually caught one on a football jig, so that might be something to take back up the lake with us and try in a few areas. Right now it's about 11 o'clock, 10.30, 11 o'clock. Tomorrow we're not gonna check in until five, so we've got several hours left to fish. We've got some severe weather coming in, so that'll change it up a little bit.
So that guy's is what it looks like when they want to eat it right there. Woo-wee! Alright guys, we got a late start today, about a three hour fog delay, we actually blasted at about 10, we were about 2.06, check in time it was actually 6.30, so a super long day on the lake, actually caught three of our four fish after 5.45. So we have 1273. Mm -hmm. Alright, 1273 and four fish. The way the day was looking at about five o'clock. We're very, very happy with that. Um, right now I think two 28 pound bags are leading and big bass right now is 12 pounds. So some people really sucking, but we're gonna get off here. And we're gonna get some pictures of these girls and then put them back in the lake, guys. We'll see you later. Chicamago recap, uh, wrap up that event. Um, unfortunately, we had some rain roll through. I put the camera away and the day had been so slow that I never even pulled it back out. But you saw that we caught some more fish later on that evening, uh, basically 30 minutes before check-in. Uh, we pulled in on back in Richland Creek and there were a few trees there, lay downs on a point. Um, and we put three in the boat really quick. But the main baits that we focused on uh, was one, a spinnerbait, chartreuse and white, really keyed in on laydowns in shallow water. Um, and then the other bait was a rattle trap, a lipless crankbait, red eye shad in its chili crawl color. Uh, didn't have as much luck with that, but we did catch one of those keepers on it. Um, probably the biggest mistake that we made was in practice, we didn't find more water like what we had been catching fish in. We kept looking for new water and looking for new water. So uh, I think that hurt us a lot. We ended up with uh, a little over 12 and a half pounds, finished in 67th place, uh, and got our entry fee paid for the next one on Norris. So really in hindsight, we should have we hunted around to find similar to water 
more similar water to what we've been finding um, and spent more time with that spinner bait in our hand uh, and, and found some more lay down. We ended up just running out of water and fishing in the same areas and beating those up. So uh, that's all for Chickamauga. Uh, we're going to move on and we'll see you at Norse.